Kia ora guys, Miss Beckett here. Um, I'm here to talk about reproduction and pregnancy um, and the effects of that. So the consequences um, of unprotected sex, one of the major consequences can lead to pregnancy. Uh, depending on what stage of your life you're at, there can be many different implications for this. It's an important thing to make sure that you're thinking about the consequences um, of sexual intercourse and how that relates to yourself. So if somebody does fall pregnant um, after unprotected sex, there are different options or decisions that you have to make in terms of what you do with the baby. So the first one is keeping the baby. So when you're in adolescence, keeping the baby can be very different to um, if you're an older person and if you're in a committed relationship um, and you do need to take, take these things into account. Adoption is another option um, that is quite common at times. Um, it can either be an open adoption so which means that the um, family and the birth mother can keep in touch and get regular updates usually about a year and um, they can get photos and then there's kind of open discussion around what happens there's also a closed adoption which means you don't know where your baby has gone or you don't always um, have rights to access to your baby and then there's abortion, um, which is based around terminating the pregnancy before it gets to the three month stage. So um, some of the key terms that we're going to look at over this um, video. So we've got adoption, which we've talked about. We've talked about the two different types. Whangai is also another form of adoption. It is less legal though. Um, so it was very common back in the olden days between Māori families um, when you, um, when somebody had a baby and they couldn't care for that baby that they adopted out within the family. Um, and it didn't always have to be um, formal adoption. Guardianship is just when someone takes care of a child or a young baby in this case and it can also count for as you move into adolescence as well. We talked a bit about abortion, so abortion is terminating pregnancy before it gets to a three month stage or before the end of the first trimester. Conception, so we're going to talk a bit about the stages of conception and what it means. Um, we're also going to talk about reproduction and fertility. Um, ovulation is when it is the best time to get pregnant. And we're going to talk a bit about ejaculation, IVF and infertility. So first of all, we're going to look at the travel path of an egg. Okay, so um, the path of the egg, so the egg travels down from the ovaries, so it can be released into the fallopian tubes from the ovary, either ovary, so um, one egg is released and then it will sit in the uterus. Um, it is then either met by sperm and fertilised and um, result in a fetus or attaches to the uterus lining and sheds and results in menstruation. The travel path of sperm. Um, so the millions of sperm start in the testicles and they travel to the epididymis which sits on top of it. This is where they start to um, grow their tails and they start to mature and they learn how to swim. Then it travels through the vas deferens tube up to the seminal vesicle where it's then changed into semen from um, fluids that are combined from both the seminal vesicle and the prostate gland. Um, it then travels out through the urethra and it is ejaculated out of the penis. Uh, conception. So conception, the point of conception is when a sperm meets an egg and fertilise it. So the result of this is pregnancy. Uh, when we talk about conception, um, it's either in the case where one sperm is meeting one egg, it could be where one sperm meets one egg and then that then splits to create identical twins, or it could be two sperm fertilising two different eggs, um, which would result in like fraternal twins and so on and so on. So the pregnancy stages, um, so this can be referred to in a variety of ways. So it can, there's three trimesters that we talk about. It's also 40 weeks pregnancy or nine months. So as the fetus develops, it goes through different milestones, it grows in different ways. So there's different points um, at which um, growth is really important. There's also different parts of pregnancy where the development of the organs is really crucial and it needs to be ensured that um, correct steps are followed and you're kind of following what your doctor's saying. Um, if people have trouble, so there's lots of people that have trouble conceiving naturally and there are a variety of ways that they can increase their likelihood of becoming pregnant.
Um, so ovulation schedule. So just knowing when you ovulate and when you release eggs is an important thing because then um, it can be met by a sperm. Hormone injections. So if you fail to produce any of the hormones for both male and female or you have trouble with this, this can happen. Um, lifestyle changes. So quite often when people are going through a bit of stress um, or finding things are difficult in their life, it can be hard to become pregnant. Um, so this can put extra pressure on a mother or a father at that time. Um, so changing up your lifestyle can be a big thing too. Um, and the one we're going to look um, closer into is IVF. So the key thing is that the biological clock is constantly being referred to. So it's basically saying that we need to be making um, sure that we're conceiving at the right time in life before we, we cannot. So IVF, um, so IVF has many different stages. So it's in vitro fertilization. Um, so it starts off with ovary stimulation. Um, so this is when you um, stimulate the ovaries to create the eggs. Um, and then these eggs are then collected. So IVF, if you're at this stage of it, it means that you've usually gone through all the other possible um, outcomes and possibilities before. So this is kind of the last thing that people go to. It's because the eggs are actually collected and taken out of the female. Um, the sperm are then fertilized. The sperm then fertilize that egg, and then it, the em, then it is placed back into the uterus to um, then fertilize in there. So the embryo is collected, um, and they are either used or some are also put aside for freezing in case it's needed another time, and then it transfers to the uterus. Um, so we've talked about a few different things. So some of the key things is that reproduction is important as long as you're at the right stage of life. So we've talked about um, mainly about the options that people have with reproduction, but we need to severely think about the consequences. So does your lifestyle suit having a baby, um, especially in adolescence? Okay, so we're going to mainly look at some things that affect adolescence a little bit closer. Thanks for watching this video, you guys.